invisible zipper. And we need to put on an invisible zipper foot, which is this one. Mm -hmm. um, if you were dressmaking, then usually you would go down one side and then go to the other groove and go down the other side mm -hmm. of the zipper so that you're sewing in the same direction. With home deck sewing, we don't worry about that because if it's off a little bit, so it's not in a visible mm -hmm. spot. So we do other things to just kind of, because with home deck sewing, you usually have a bigger project and you want all your excess over here rather than some of it under mm -hmm. the arm of the machine. So. Um, the fastest way to do an invisible zipper is two passes. And the first pass, you're worried only about, you're not worried about getting really close to the teeth. You're only worried about making sure there's no puckering. Mm -hmm. Like it's really easy for this to get puckered as you sew. So we're gonna do the, the puppet hand pinch here and the grip here. Mm -hmm. And it's in the groove, but we're not worried about getting close at all. We're just making sure that there's no puckering. We'll come down. We started about the, the teeth was on like an inch and a half to two inches to the end. And then back up here. Now we're going to roll the teeth. You see that? And if we're getting as close as we can. In fact, I like to pull this back, so you need to flatten it out there and pull this back as you go. I actually prefer this one, but I don't want to block the camera. Now yours are not going to pattern match at the bottom, so it makes it even easier. And instead of aerating where it's this way, which results in this falling down, right? I aero usually, there's a tendency when you start for this to slip a little bit, so you start with it pushed up just a hair. See what I'm talking about? The angle of that. And then I start right there. Back tack. And then again, this time it's only about making sure that it doesn't pucker. Now I'm getting close. And then I can switch feet. And I put the right zipper foot in.
Hi, I'm Seal de Guglielmo, librarian at the Curtains and Self-Furnishings Resource Library. As a Pro Plus member of the library, you can watch this video advertisement free and talk to industry professionals in our online forum. Visit the library to learn more about starting or growing a business using your creative sewing skills. See you at the library. Oh, too bad you don't have any labels, Madison labels. No. Yeah, because this is where we would sew them. So back tack right up here, making sure we're beyond, just a little bit beyond where the stock was. Okay. Right? Little back tack there. And then we, we taper it in a little bit. Let me show you with the... When you get the hang of this, you don't need the purple pen, but in order to prevent dog ears, you know how if you sew a perfect square oh. pillow, you get this point up? What you do instead, we, we had a half inch seam allowance, right? So we're out here. But in the corners, we come into three quarters. So we do a little taper. So our turn, our turn is at three quarters, sometimes mm -hmm. almost even an inch, but we're at a half inch here. So our stitch line from here to there tapers to that point. Make sense? Yeah. And then here, right? So we're in at three quarters and we taper. And when you get when you do enough of these, you don't have to mark it. You can just see I'm turned, see I'm at three quarters there. And now I'm headed to the half in the center. So I can just go. Right? Now if I was putting a tag in, I would crease that and put in a tag right there. Okay, so I'm headed out to the half an inch. And then into the three quarters. Whoops, I overshot, no problem. It's back up, right? Okay? And then now I'm, well, I'm a little bit outside of three quarters there. And now I have the half an inch. And now you turn and you go up close. And then you might as well not cut threads. You can you can go ahead and just switch up the zipper. There you go. Okay. Yeah, you actually want to go, I'd back up, go back to the center. Okay. Um, like back tack? Or? Back tack, yeah. You can even reverse all the way back to the center. But you see how you tapered in? Oh, there you go. That's better. Yeah, because this is where you want to be. Okay. And and your first one went like that. Okay. Okay, so you can just go back to the corner. You're not curving. It's right to the dot and needle down. It's really just a, an angle from okay. the center to the dot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There you go. Now, uh, underneath, yeah, make sure they're lined up and do the puppet hands to get to this corner. So if, if you're not totally lined up, then make it happen here. Okay. There you go.
a job. And then don't go all the way to the dot because you can slide your tag in. Okay. Which side was the face? Um, I think it's this one. Okay. Like the top one. So then put the dry paint only face up. There you go. Mm -hmm. And one thing you can do is if you fold this back and crease on your stitch line, mm -hmm. you can side. Oh, yeah, there you go. Um, and I'm I going just to that point? I don't know mm -hmm. if I put the point in the right spot. Oh, you can go a little bit lower because... And then you stitch right in the back tack there. Okay. Rotation, right? Keep cool. going. Roll, roll the needle so it's on its way down. But back, back up. Can I go back? Well, yeah. Well, I do one more full rotation. And then, there we go. And it should release. There you go. right on the stitch mm -hmm. and then you pinch that. See that? Mm -hmm. And then when you push it through, you don't need to pick it out usually. Mm -hmm. it's, it's always pretty yeah. sharp. But you have to crease, crease, and pinch it. And then that little lump is enough to push it, push out the corner. So this is where if you're doing, you know, a hundred of them here. It's, it's, it's um, the linen that you guys use does this really nicely. Mm -hmm. It's hard, a little harder on the cotton and then the heavy linen, oh, no. it's brutal. Yeah. And then the other thing we're going to do is um, push, push the seam out just so that it doesn't get caught in, right? Push that up a little bit. And my chop. Oh, wow. And <laughs> on it. And you grab those corners all the way up in there. So sweet. Oh, I hope this was the front that we put the dry to. Good. I didn't get it. It wasn't very close, but.